Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm up bright and early, 7 a.m. I'm gonna try to beat the heat and the rumors of tornadoes that might be in the in the works and hail today. So I am gonna head across the street and get these weeds pulled. We have some um, strawberry beds and tomatoes and beans and squash and some other things. So I'm always excited to get up in the morning and see what's popping up where where we're at in the growth process. So I do see some strawberries, which is the first for me because I think the last couple times my husband has come out here to weed, so they might have been up for a while. So this is exciting. to my own heart and to the hearts of the people that I, I have the privilege of hearing their stories every day, every day or um, so when I hear these stories obviously in this life we are up against so many things we are gonna have trials we're gonna have um, difficulties we're gonna struggle with different things and what do we need to do obviously we have to tend to the to the soil of our own heart and so as I'm out here thinking through things, I'm just reminded of, of the beauty and the parallels to our own lives with, with nature and how grounding nature can, can really be, how important it is to take a walk, to breathe in the fresh air, to breathe in the, the sense of a flower, how refreshing that can be. So that's just a little thought that I have when I'm, when I'm out here. This is a really, really great place to be where, I don't know, I just, I learn lessons every time I'm out in the garden. I, I learn little lessons that I can take to work, that I can apply to my own life, and it's just exciting to see. Just like the plants coming up against all their elements, yet if we tend to that garden, it can be amazing, beautiful, full of fruit, full of produce. We also are coming against those elements, trials, tribulations, especially now in this day and age. We've experienced so many things just pressing on us, coming against us at all sides. And I'm just reminded that if we just invite the light in, if we invite the water in, the living water, God's light, His nutrients into the soils of our heart. If our soil is open and we are willing, He can plant that seed and it can come to some kind of fruition where we produce really awesome fruit. We can have freedom and we can have hope. And I have experienced that. I have experienced trying to do things on my own when things have come against me and it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked at all. It's only led to more difficulty. And so I've just decided, you know what, I can't do this on my own. I need something greater than myself to come in and, and help me get set free. And if not get set free, help walk alongside of me to um, to deal with it, you know. So we, we all have our stuff, and we'll all continue to have our stuff. But every day we can go and we can tend to those weeds. We can try to get them pulled out from, from the root with with somebody who knows how to do that, the great counselor, Christ. I hope 
this is an encouragement.